Hey everyone, it's Mayhem, back with episode number 9, I believe, of Nothing to Everything. In this episode, slash guide, we're going to be going over heroin. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our talents once again. Uh, under Weed Processor, you're going to want Heroin Junkie. Unlike the Weed Processor, uh, since they're this uh, heroin, cocaine, and meth, those get taken out by the cartel. So later in the episode, when we do process, say we process, I don't know, 32 opium, you'll see that we only kept like 25 or so because the cartel does take a cut. So if you do own the gang, or if you own the cartel, uh, you'll see on your phone $97,000 dirty money. They should probably go empty these before uh, they get taken by a rival gang. So um, now, since this is near Sophia in the heroin field over here, uh, this is illegal, completely illegal. There are a lot of cops on, so I really hope we don't get caught. So we're going to need a little thing to defend ourselves called a firearm. So we're going to buy our license here since we have a debit card. I'm going to go with a Rook and some 30 round magazines. Alright, now you don't want to use this unless you really have to. Because if you obtain a $2,500 bounty or higher, the police will have probable cause to search you and your vehicle. Or if you off-road more than 10 meters without valid reason. Even if you get caught inside the field within the red circle, they have probable cause to search you. So uh, I'll be back once we get to the field. Okay, we're pulling into the heroin field. Now, much like the marijuana field, the weed field, uh, you'll see a red flower on the ground that you have to pick. Uh, I really do hope the cops don't come here and check this area. If they do, we're fucked. Uh, if you look on the little ground right here, just gather the opium. Do the same thing as you did with the uh, the weed. Put it in your vehicle and then you're done. Uh, like I said in the last episode, if you do not see them on the ground anymore, just hop back inside your vehicle and be on your way. Now, if the cops do come here, it's better to just surrender yourself. Let them take what they want. There's a good chance they'll let you keep your vehicle if it does not go above seizing value, which is 5000 Uh They will take your, your opium and stuff and charge you, but you'll be reduced, uh, given a reduced ticket. It's always good to come up with a good story, so, uh, you know, there's a good chance you'll just get pardoned instead. Uh, so, let's hope we don't get caught by the cops, and if you do have a weapon, try not to run around with it. Otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll show you. It gets really annoying. You have to gather, you put your weapon away, then you take it back out, and then so on. And if someone else does come here, they'll consider you to be a threat. So I'll be back when I have a full vehicle and inventory. Hopefully I don't die. Alright, now that we have a full vehicle and inventory, we're going to head to the heroin processor. But really quick, I want to go over one thing. If you are, in fact, in a gang, and you own the turf of Rotopoli, which is the turf right here, you get double gathering for heroin, which is the opium right here, and cocaine. So you can make these runs way quicker. And another use of the opium slash heroin is to craft weapons, which in my opinion, to craft a Katiba is not really worth it. You're better off just buying it. Uh, but that will be a later episode, uh, way, way, way later, uh, a couple episodes away. So we're going to go to the heroin processing, and then we're going to go, uh, then we're going to process it, and then obviously go sell it. Uh, the one good thing about this is you don't need a contract or license to process the heroin. All you do need is the talent. It's, you don't really need it. It's just recommended so you get more of your uh, yield back all right so i'll be back once we uh, start processing all right now that we are arriving at the heroin processing uh this is where we're kind of open to being attacked uh by police you know being arrested by them or by a uh, you know group or random player all i gotta do is just hit process heroin and it will take some time uh i'll cut to a quick part where it shows that it the cartel took some from me. So I'll be right back. Alright, processing is almost done. And I don't remember how many we started with. Uh, but we kept 23 and they took 6. So we started with 29 total. So what we're going to do is double click this and type in 23 and then hit swap. Double click again just to take so you get the extra 3 or extra 6 I mean. Go back. Um, now the same thing as I was saying with the road to poly. Uh, how you get double gathering of the heroin. Um, if your gang owns the drug cartel, when you process, you don't lose anything to the cartel because you own it. So instead of losing the six, we would have kept it. Same thing with any other drug. 
when you're processing and you own the cartel. So it's good to join a gang and take ownership of it. So I'll be back when we're done processing all of it and then when we're at the drug dealer. Okay, so we finished processing everything. I probably should have went the other way, but I was right this left. Um, same thing with the heroin field. Once you enter that red circle, the cops will have probable cause to search you and your vehicle. Uh, same thing once again with off-roading. So if I drove off-road up this hill, the cops will then have probable cause. Uh, if you feel that you were searched without probable cause, you should probably record it. And always request a higher up. But when you request a higher up, you you uh, you waive your 10 minute rule. Meaning that if the higher up does show up, that it could take more than 10 minutes and you can't do anything about it. And I'll be back when I'm at the uh, drug dealer. Alright, so the drug dealer is right around the corner at this building. There he is. Now, other players can RDM you here as long as you're within distance, like I am now. Selling distance, about 10 meters. Uh, we started with 79 uh, heroin or opium, right? We processed it down and we kept 62. So we're just going to double click to sell everything and we're going to go to ATM as quickly as possible to store our profits. Now, this is a high risk medium reward ish it's not one of the best paying drugs but you do make a decent amount of money we only used it off-road so we could have made a shit ton more if we uh, use different things and we made twenty three thousand dollars off of 62 you can always open up your phone check your market and click on heroin it says current price 373 so if we do 62 times 373, that's exactly how much we made. So you could always guess how much you're going to uh, make by just assuming how much the cartel will take from you. Obviously, the larger amount you process in, the more they'll take. All right. So that does... Oh, you better not run me. I swear to fucking go. <laughs> All right. So that concludes this episode. The next episode will most likely be about cocaine. Um... Now, the thing is with cocaine is there's cocaine on Altus and cocaine on Tanoa. Uh, I don't know if you want me to do both, but if I do, they'll probably be two separate videos unless you guys would prefer them to be mashed up in one. Okay? If you do, just leave comments on this one and let me know. Uh, next video, I will start a giveaway as well. So, look out for that next video. And let me know if you want to see other games because I did just recently purchase a, a new Xbox uh, game capture software and a new monitor so if you guys want to see some games from like xbox one let me know or if you want to see more steam games like csgo let me know i'm really shit at the game but leave some comments leave some likes and subscribes if you do enjoy the series and i'll be back for next episode soon see ya